Yes, okay, well, there are differences between men and women, personality-wise, apart from the biological ones. Are those caused by cultural differences? Hey, turns out we can answer that. How? Rank order countries by how egalitarian their social policies are. Does everyone agree? Yeah, yeah, the Scandinavians are at the top. Everyone agrees. Left, right, doesn't matter. Everyone agrees. It's like, okay, so you stack up the cultures by how egalitarian their social policies are. And then you look to see how big the differences are between men and women up that hierarchy of egalitarianism. And if as the societies become more egalitarian, the differences between men and women disappear, then it's sociocultural. That isn't what happened. What happened was, is that as the societies got more egalitarian, the differences between men and women got bigger, not smaller. It means the sociocultural construct people, and I'm talking to you sociocultural construct people, you're wrong. You're wrong. You make the societies more egalitarian, men and women get more different. Who makes the argument in opposition to this? All the, all the social constructionists, all the radical left-wingers. And what do they use as facts? They don't have facts, but then they criticize the whole idea of facts. Then they go after the whole idea of science as a, as a, as a Western patriarchal construct. What's their motivation? The motivation is that if people are different, then e out equality of outcome isn't, isn't neither desirable nor achievable. And why do they want equality of outcome? Why is this so That's a good question. Well, them? part of it is, part of it is actual compassion. Look, 